My name is Sophie von Stumm. I'm an associate professor of developmental psychology at the London School of Economics and Political Science, and I study individual differences in lifespan cognitive development. And what I mean by that is I'm trying to find out why some people's brains work better than others. And when I say people, I really mean children. And it's a pretty complex question, and so there are many factors that you can study in order to explain differences in children's ability to learn. And um, some of those might be the kind of school that children attend or uh, the kind of personality and motivation that they have. And the one factor that I want to talk about today is DNA differences. Now, we do know that behavior is influenced by genes. But until very recently, we had to use studies of relatives to estimate heritability. In particular, we used twin studies, where we compared twins who are identical, so they share all of their genes, to twins who are not identical, so they share about half of their genes. And we looked at how similar these two types of twins are in, in, in their behavior. But now we can do this in a very different way. We can look directly at DNA. And what we can do today is we can create a DNA score for each individual where we add together thousands of DNA variants of very small effect size and we get a genome-wide polygenic score and we can use that score to predict the behavior in a group of people. Um, and so some of the work I've been recently involved with did exactly that. We took genome-wide polygenic scores for the number of years you've spent in education and we map them onto the academic achievement that school children show in a very large sample from Britain. And what we found was that DNA variates accounted for 3% of the variance when the children were 7 years old. And you may say that is not much, but when the children were 12, we already accounted for 5% of the variance and when they were 16, we accounted for 9% of the variance. Again, you may say 9% isn't exactly that much because that means that 91% that were unexplained, but it is the greatest amount of behavior difference that was ever explained with directly observed DNA in a sample of children. 